Today we're going to talk about the most popular cloth diaper inserts and what you should avoid and what's going to give you the most bang for your buck. I'm a cloth diapering parent. I've been cloth diapering for four plus years. Some of these products are from my own store, Kinder Cloth Diaper Co., but I'll show you products from other stores too so you can make the most informed decision about what you wear on your baby. If you are shopping for cloth diapers on Amazon, these are the three most popular insert styles that you'll find. This first insert style is microfiber. You can see it's very textured on the front. It's got a very distinct look. Microfiber is 100% polyester. This is going to be the cheapest insert textile to produce. So a lot of budget brand cloth diapers are going to come with this style of insert. These are fine for newborns, but we really don't like them for older babies because they're extremely prone to compression leaks. Most families have issues with these types of inserts around the six month mark when baby starts to be more mobile and puts more pressure on their bum. They start to experience a lot of leaks, especially around the legs. Some families do successfully cloth diaper from birth to potty training using an insert style like this. It causes a lot of families to quit cloth diapering. So if you can avoid this, I would. The next insert style is charcoal bamboo. They're a wolf in sheep's clothing. A lot of families will find these too on Amazon because they are 100% polyester. They're a more budget friendly option. They are a charcoal colored fleece exterior with a microfiber core. It's really this um, with some fleece on the outside. I find they're actually like very comparable in absorbency, even though some people will say that these are better absorbers. These are basically the same thing. Some people will, again, successfully cloth diaper with these just like they do with the microfiber, but if you can avoid charcoal bamboo, I would. There's actually no bamboo in these. The third insert is this bamboo four layer insert. These are commonly found on the Amazon as well. They they have two layers of bamboo on the exterior and then the interior layers of this guy are, you guessed it, microfiber. It's also very prone to compression leaks. So people will think that they're getting a really good bamboo product with these for a good price when really um, there's just, there's there's microfiber hiding on the inside. These three insert styles are all very comparable. We, I like to say that anything cotton can be an insert. So anything you have in your home, receiving blankets, t-shirts, bath towels, tea towels, anything cotton can be an insert because cotton is a great absorber. Many families will use flour sack towels. This is a cotton tea towel from the kitchen section at Target. They also sell them at Walmart. Um, you can get them on the Amazon too. This is a flower sack towel. You'll fold it um, to make it an insert. You can also use it like a flat, but for this case, we're talking about inserts. So we're gonna fold it like an insert. These are, these are incredibly affordable. So if you can't afford some of the nicer options for absorbency that I'm gonna show you later, this is a really great alternative. I also recommend these to families on a budget who already have a microfiber style set or like one of the other insert styles that I showed you previously. And what I like to recommend that they do is wrap, wrap the microfiber insert in the cotton tea towel so that if you are getting some of that compression leaks that I talked about earlier, the compression leaks are getting reabsorbed by the cotton tea towel and are less likely to leak out the legs. Our sack towels paired with any number of these inserts can make them work harder for you longer. You can also use flower sack towels on their own. You might find that you need more than one of them. They're very trim and a good budget-friendly option. Next up are pre-folds. I'm gonna show you two different styles of pre-folds. One is 100% cotton, one is a bamboo cotton. You can see a little bit of a difference in the texture, but the general form and function of these is the same. Pre-folds have pre-sewn lines here to indicate where you should fold them. You have a few different options when you're folding a pre-fold. If you're going to use it as an insert, you can fold it along those lines and use it just like that. Or you might have noticed that the middle of this, if you see the light shining through here, the middle layer is thicker. So there's more absorbency happening in the middle of this insert. So if you have a girl specifically, we call this a girl fold, you can fold against the lines to have a bulk of absorbency in the middle. So you can have that under baby's crown. The cotton one works the same way. You can pad fold it so that you have the bulk of the absorbency there. And then if you shine the light through it, you can, this one's a little bit trickier to see, but you can see that there's more absorbency in the middle. These are also more budget friendly. The advantage of these over a, an insert style is that they do dry a little bit faster because they are less layers overall if you are machine drying. Next, I'll show you the inserts that I sell in my shop at Kinder Cloth Diaper Co. We have four different insert styles at this time and I'll link them all below in case these spark your interest. These are our lowest absorbency styles. They are bamboo terry, four layers of bamboo terry. I'm gonna show you the difference between these and the bamboo microfiber version that I showed you before. This is that budget-friendly bamboo microfiber and you'll see that the, the texture or the weave on these is very low. You see on this one, it's got a little bit more going on. They're similar, 
but they are a bit different. Um, this is a lot more wiggly, where this is more rigid because this has the microfiber on the inside. If you're shopping for bamboo inserts, it can be tricky to figure out which is which. Bamboo Terry is a better, more high quality product than this uh, bamboo microfiber alternative. We have two different bamboo Terry's. We have the lightweight and we have the standard. The lightweight is more for newborns and for boosting and the standard makes a great day insert for babies up to about a year. Some babies will be able to do just four layers of bamboo past a year, but for most kiddos, this will carry you through a year. We also carry a hemp cotton insert. It's four layers of hemp cotton and we have a we have a woven side and then a textured side. And that just gives our customers options for which side they wanna face against baby. You'll notice that all of the Kinder inserts also have snaps on them. And that's because you can snap ins our inserts together to use inside the diaper so they don't wiggle around. An insert will shrink quite a bit, so they'll be about the same finish size. And then our third insert is our six layer hemp cotton bamboo insert. This has two layers of the hemp cotton textile and four layers of the bamboo terry. So this is like having the blue and the yellow together blue plus yellow equals green. We color code everything to make it really easy for you to cloth over your kid with a partner. Our inserts are all designed so that they can keep snapping together so you can make giant insert lasagnas. Insert lasagnas. We believe in setting all of our parents up for success. So all of our inserts are designed with bamboo, cotton, and hemp so that they are not prone to compression leaks. We've got a couple different textile options so that you can choose what's gonna work best for your family. I also just introduced a bamboo cotton book fold insert. This one has some advantages in lower dry times, but then it also has customization options of being stay wet or stay dry, depending on your baby's needs. The bamboo cotton side is stay wet if you're using this for a baby who's close to potty training, but if you use it in a cover um, for a younger baby, you can use it with the athletic looking jersey side facing out to be stay dry. I did this hemp cotton insert before. Sometimes hemp cotton will come unbleached. This is a hemp cotton insert that is unbleached, so it's a little bit more yellow. You'll see it's also quite small because hemp cotton does shrink. My brand is three years old. Um, in the very beginning, this is one of our early hemp cotton inserts. You can see how much they've changed over the years. We've made them longer to accommodate a lot more of that shrinking. We've also added this piping to help customers more easily identify the insert styles in the pile. And it also helps minimize and reduce this waving around the edge, which we call baconing. There's another hemp cotton insert from a different brand. You can see again what this baconing looks like. It doesn't affect the performance or integrity of the insert. It just means that it shrunk in the wash, which is normal and to be expected of cotton textiles. Last insert style that I'm gonna show you today is a pre-flat. It's a little bit different than a pre-fold. These are designed to be worn and wrapped around baby. But if you find that you don't really like wrapping it around your baby, you can fold these into a rectangle to use as inserts too. When you're searching for inserts, the most important thing is to avoid microfiber as microfiber can lead to compression leaks and cause unwanted frustrations that we can just avoid if we invest in better products from the get-go. Hemp, cotton, and bamboo terry are great options. Lots of small businesses carry these products and they're gonna work really hard for you for a long time. What else can I teach you about cloth diapers? Drop it in the comments and we'll make some more videos. I've also got some videos on the screen. Maybe there's something here that interests you. Make sure you give us a follow because we've got a lot more educational stuff coming. And maybe we'll make some fun stuff too.